Hey guys, how are you? I am Dr. Pavez Ahmed Rishi. Today's topic is Don't Fume and Fret, a book called uh, How to Make Friends and Influence People, written by Dale Carnegie. It is a great book and I recommend this book for everybody. And in this book, the first chapter, first section, first set chapter is Don't Fume and Fret. To fume and fret means a person you are becoming angry or you are becoming annoyed or you are becoming worried about something and then you talk again is somebody you have a problem you say that person is not a good person and you are worried by that, by that person we see that don't fume about anything that to fume means to boil and when the vapor rises from something that's to fume become a vapor to evaporate and to fret means to be worried beyond limit, to be, to become very anxious about something which is not worth it. Folks, lot of people have come to this world and they have gone. Some have lived a really good life. Some have wasted their life in filming and fretting. Dale Carnegie says that most of the people who film and fret, they waste their time. They waste their life. They waste, they destroy the happiness of their life. So, our request the, is don't fume and fret. In this fume and fret, how the final he says, the conclusion of the topic is don't condemn, don't criticize, and don't complain. This is the conclusion of the topic. So, the first is don't condemn. If somebody is doing something and you condemn it, eh, he shouldn't do that. So Dale Carnegie says, no, don't condemn it, it's not a good behavior. Eh, by, if you condemn somebody and a person who has a certain opinion and if you motivate him or if you uh, motivate him out of his own will, a person has settled the same will, no matter what you do. If a person motivated against his will, without his will, is settled of the same will. And it means that if a person has a certain opinion, certain way of life, you just uh, accept him as he is. And if he is damaging you, then you can avoid that damage by somehow. But you don't try to change him and don't try to condemn him. The second is criticize. We should actually never criticize anybody and we should understand that had we been him, had we been in his shoes, maybe we would have done the same. We would have been the same. So we should always try to understand people and not to say a word even if in our heart we criticize somebody, we condemn somebody, something is doing wrong. We shouldn't put it in words and we shouldn't come and complain about him, criticize him or condemn him somewhere. Just put it in your heart and just forget it. Forget about it and concentrate on your health, concentrate on your goal, concentrate on your day-to-day uh, -day life, on your work, on your family. And the third is don't condemn, don't criticize, and don't complain. If you have a problem, you never complain. Don't complain about anything. Just do something about it. Manually, try to change it. Manually, try to make some changes in you, in yourself, in something, in your atmosphere. And But don't complain. Don't keep complaining about your wife, about your children about your job, about your career, about your profession, about your people around you. Just uh, forget about, about this shit and just try to concentrate on good things in life. Life is a real gift to people and it is my, I am concluding my talk by saying don't criticize, condemn or complain, don't fume and fret, just uh, enjoy, just be happy. Every day is a gift from God, every day is a gift from Allah and try to enjoy every day.
try to calm down, keep your mouth shut and concentrate on the work on table. Thank you very much. Hope this helps you. It has helped me and I really love you people and I hope uh, I hope you have a happy life ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.